name's Rocky, and I'm really excited to tell you a story. But before I tell you the story, I want to introduce you to two of the garden educators that you're going to meet really soon. Their names are Maceo and Lila. Hey kids, I'm Lila. And I'm Maceo. And we have a fun activity in store for you. Let's get to the story. One day, I was foraging for food in the forest when it started to rain really hard. Pretty soon, I was in the middle of a huge storm. As I ambled through the woods, the mud became squishier and squashier and I became more and more soaked. I continued to walk through the dark and wet forest until I came to an open meadow. And above the meadow, the sun started to peek out through the heavy clouds and the rain settled down to a mist. Then a huge double rainbow appeared over the hills in the distance. It was the most beautiful rainbow that I had ever seen. The colors were so vivid and bright. There were shades of red, orange, yellow, green, lime, peach, pink, purple, indigo, maroon, blue, turquoise, magenta, and chartreuse. There were even colors in that rainbow that I hadn't seen before colors without names. All of a sudden, the rainbow shattered in the sky and all of the pieces fell to earth. So, of course, I ran over and started collecting the pieces into my bag. Would you like to see all the rainbow chips that I found? Here they are. Wow! You want to know something incredible? Yeah? You have them too! Now, in order to get your own rainbow chips, you can gather five different colored items from around you. If you have colored pencils or crayons, markers, or maybe even just some colorful clothing or paper. And you're gonna go around and try to match the color of your item with something around you. You can look in your front yard, in your backyard, in a park nearby, or just around your house. If you go outside though, make sure to take a grown up with you and then look closely at the soil and the leaves and the flowers and the sticks and try to match every color of your rainbow chips with the color that you see around you. Let's go! Yeah! When you're looking for objects that match your rainbow chips, try to pick it so you can take it back with you. However, before you pick it, make sure there are at least 10 of the same object. For example, if there is just one of these flowers or one of these leaves, you wouldn't want to pick it. You would want to leave it there. But since there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, a lot more than 10 leaves here, I can pick one. Look at all the colorful things we found in the garden. What colors did you see? Were some colors harder to find than others? There are so many different colors in the garden and there are even many shades of the same color. Look how many shades of green we found. If you want, you can try this activity again in a few months when the season changes and see if you find different colors. Now that you've matched your colors, make sure to take or draw a picture to send to your teacher. Remember, you can also just use objects from around your house.